I have some good news for you ladies. Did you know that it is a myth that the brain ages? It is possible to have a fully operational brain during the entire lifespan. That is, if you follow the seven steps to a healthy brain. This is a new book written by clinical professor of neurology, Dr. Paul Winner, and he joins us today. Welcome, Dr. Winner. Thank you, Wendy. So what are the seven steps to a healthy brain? Can you give us a few? Sure. All seven steps are equally important, but some key issues. What are good brain foods? What are some supplements that you need? What about exercises for the brain? And crossword puzzles are not enough. And what, there's many other issues that I'll get into in greater depth in the book. But remember, everyone needs to become a sleeping beauty. Now, you are also the author of the textbook on migraine headaches. And so many people out there suffer from migraines. What are the percentages of people that suffer? Do you know? 28% of Americans have some form of headache. Mm. We basically can, can classify as migraine. There's 12% of adults have severe migraine and up to 4% to 6% of children and adolescents. Children. Yes. And you're here to tell us that you had migraines yourself since the age of six and it's a fully treatable condition now? Today it is. Easily diagnosed and a very effective treatments are available. New ones are being found every day but there's a really interesting one we just found. Think of someone who's a little overweight or possibly obese. If we reduce you from overweight to normal weight, we actually reduce the number of headaches you experience. Just that. And we've shown this in adults previously, but recently we've just shown this in adolescents and young children. What a nice thing to do. Today, people are looking for other alternatives. The best thing to do is take your pharmaceutical approach and your non-pharmaceutical approach and mix them if you want to effectively control this. But recently, B2, riboflavin, we've shown to be statistically significant to reduce the number of headaches that people experience. Isn't that nice, a simple thing that you can use? So a pain-free brain and a brain that stays young. Now tell me, if we follow the seven steps to a healthy brain, what are the benefits to us? The benefits are, first of all, this book can change your life, and that's one of the key issues. It can help you focus better, it can help your memory to be sharper, it can help you just feel better, it can potentially reduce depression depending on your predispositions. So it has those effects, but there's one incredible added benefit. If you help the brain, you help the skin. Your complexion, complexion can improve, hair and nails can improve. What an amazing, nice benefit. You've helped the brain and you've helped the skin, hair and nails. So you naturally get better skin if yes. you're feeding the brain because it's the same nutrients. What a nice benefit. Needs. That's a very good benefit. Now, where can people go to get the book? Well, it's available on Barnes & Noble and Amazon.com. You can go to drwinner.org to get more information. And please remember, read this book and then pass it on to someone in your family because you can do this. Thank you so much for being with us. Dr. Winner, seven steps to a healthy brain. We can do this. Encourage your kids to read books on the beach this summer. Get 20% off every book you buy this summer at the Scholastic Store Online. This coupon is yours along with other coupons worth over $200 when you schedule your next stay at Country Inns and Suites. Featuring 450 locations in North America, free breakfast, free in-room high-speed internet and kid-friendly swimming pools. So book your stay and upload movies and photos from your vacation for all your relatives to see at www.seeyouontheporch.com.